This is our home for the next 100 days. Oh, boy. Sun burst in. It felt like we were going on vacation driving here, but I can tell this is not going to be a vacation renovating this thing. So our friends Andy and Pete reached out to us. They know we build houses pretty quickly. So now they want us to take on this project to help them renovate a hotel they purchased a couple years ago. This is a whole nother game. I mean, I'm kind of flattered that they want us to jump on board. Kind of flattered slash terrified. <laughs> Holy See? Smoke. Oh my God. I am in awe right now. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, guys, how are you? Andy? This view wow. never gets old. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Good morning. How are you? Oh my gosh. I'm more impressed with that view than this, this view. view. We know. Just gotta get the building to match the view, right? Oh yeah. We need a little work. <laughs> we bought the hotel in 2016. I think being native Floridians, you kind of are born loving the beach. So when this opportunity became available, it was something that we jumped on. And I was all excited about tearing it down and building a condo. And we kind of put it on the back burner because there was a hotel here. It was making a couple dollars, you know, over the five years that we had it. We fell in love with the place. And we've decided we need to keep it. Yeah. Oh, I so. love that you made that decision. Oh, yeah. The fact that the Sunburst Inn has been around for 75 years, I feel like there is almost a duty for us to restore it. The Sunburst Inn was originally a house. And the people that owned it before me started putting on additions and adding rooms to build it into a mom and pop hotel. Tell us about the hotel. How big is it? It's 12 rooms. We have one bedrooms and then we have some studios. The penthouse is bigger than all the other ones. It's two floors and it's two bedroom, two bath. The community loves it. The people who come year after year love it. It's not like the place is not making money and revenue. It could be making more. Right. Yeah. I say, hey, let's check it out. Check Actually, it out. since this is a hotel, maybe we should check in? Yes. We're let's checking check in. in. Here we Welcome. go. Welcome. All right. We are on the beach in Indian Shores, and that cat is like on the coast of Italy. It's a studio, so you feel kind of confined. The kitchen is in such a random spot. You don't need a walk-in closet here. Open this up, and then this nook is where your kitchenette would be. Nice. Plenty of room. Definitely some reimagining that needs to happen, and we need to replace a ton of artwork. I can feel the 75 years of sand <laughs> on these floors. I mean, I thought that was just like an ice texture. <laughs> Usually, we're only used to building one kitchen, maybe three bathrooms. We have 12 kitchens here, 12 bathrooms. So this pulls out to a bed. It does. Yes. Oh. To what? About here. Yes. Probably. So your feet are basically <laughs> on the stove. Correct. So you can cook right from the bed. So that's. Hey. That little nook over there, it's kind of mm -hmm. just wasted square footage. I would love to open up that wall. Because you are restricted from the, the water view. It's a lot. We are a little inexperienced when it comes to renovation. There are problems that we may not be able to predict ahead of time. Time to check out the penthouse? Yes. Oh, Let's do I it. cannot wait. Let's go. However, we know how to utilize a space and make every square foot of the space work. And we're also used to working under pressure with tight timelines. Yep. Well, I feel pretty confident. Oh, man, it's nice and big. The penthouse can accommodate up to six people. All okay. right. I yeah. really want to see what's happening with the semi wall that we got going on behind yeah. here. Let me check this out. Hello. Hello. Is this a bedroom or a walk-in closet? <laughs> is there a reason why the wall is not all the way up to the ceiling? It just came that way when we bought the hotel. I don't know. I think you got to figure out on this one, do we completely open it or do we completely close it? All right, we go upstairs? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's go. I mean, this is like a kitchen we put in our full-size houses. Correct. Yeah. How would we reconfigure? I think this whole L could be gone. Yeah. yeah. But then you have your dining area right here. This is the lobby. I see renovations have already started. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this hotel has character and charm. She's a little bit old, but she ain't dead yet. How much have you guys set aside to put back into your business? We are budgeting $350,000. You guys are shutting down the hotel, so mm -hmm. all your revenue is going to stop. Completely. Yes. And I saw on your website, you're already taking reservations. For high season. In three and a half months. Oh, yeah. If we don't get this done, they're going to lose a lot of money. Urgency is something we are used to working with. Yeah. Brian and Mika, they've got an energy and creativity we thought would really be beneficial to Sunburst Inn. And they're hands-on. They don't have a problem getting dirty, helping you meet your deadline, and that's what we need. I know that we're up for the challenge, and I think it's going to be an amazing project. We're super excited. Let's do it! Three, three two, two, one! one. Woo! Yay! <laughs> okay, we got to get to work. Get to work! Let's go! <laughs>